Love your fish tank. Or are you excited to bring on some sea creature friends into your home for the first time? Well, you wouldn't want to welcome hard water or any contaminants in their new home and get them stressed out. So how do you get them the water they need? Introducing Max Water RODI system for aquarium and hydroponics. With our preset up system that's easy to install and a price that won't have you filling up your tank with your tears. With our simple design and easy to follow setup, installation is made easy. Step 1. Find a location to set up your system. Ideally you want the location near a sink and we also recommend being nearby an electric power outlet in case you need a booster pump. Now board up the location and drill two screws halfway into the board, then use the two holes on the brackets board to hang the system. Once hung, drill the two screws entirely to fully mount the system in place. Now insert your pre-filters and reverse osmosis membrane in their appropriate housing and turn off your cold water supply valve. Step 2. Unscrew the faucet connector pipe. Install the feed water adapter to the cold water supply valve and tighten it with a wrench. Please make sure the O-ring is properly seated inside the adapter and the faucet connector pipe to prevent leaks. Reinstall the faucet connector pipe to the feed water adapter and tighten it with a wrench. Then, insert the red tube to the quick connect nipple. Step 3. Pinpoint a spot on the drain pipe that is convenient for installing the drain saddle. We recommend drilling where the pipe is at a vertical angle. Then, begin to drill a quarter inch hole into the drain pipe. Paste the black pad around the hole to prevent leaks from occurring. Prepare the black tubing by cutting the tip at a 45 degree angle. Then insert the tubing through the drain saddle. Insert the black tubing through the drain saddle to the drain pipe step, then install the back plate and tighten the two screws with hex nuts while the tubing remains in the hole. Step 4. Install the elbow fitting to the system water inlet port, then connect the red tubing from the feed water adapter through the elbow fitting. Now on the opposite side of the system, install another elbow fitting to the outlet port, but connect the red tubing from the auto shutoff valve's inlet to the elbow fitting. Do not over tighten any of those fittings. Step 5. Now, unplug the flow restrictor. Take the black tube that's connected to the drain saddle and put it through the flow restrictor. Step 6. Connect the yellow tubing from the auto shutoff valve to the DEI filter. Lastly, Connect your blue tube to your last filter. In this case, it's the second DI filter. Now we can turn the feed water valve on and begin to feed your tank with water your fish friends will love. Your system setup should look something like this. Your last filter may vary depending if you add an inline carbon or not. Adding a carbon inline filter is optional in case you want to remove any bad odor from your water. In order to add one, we have to backwash the filter before adding it to our system. Flushing. Step number one. Flushing your pre-filters and post-carbon filter. Turn off the water supply. Disconnect the yellow tube from the DI's outlet elbow fitting. Connect the yellow tube from the post-carbon's inlet fitting to the outlet fitting of the three pre-filters. Then connect the black tube coming from the drain saddle to the post-carbon fitting's outlet. Turn on the water supply and flush the filters for 2-3 to three minutes until all the carbon fines flush out. Turn off the water supply. Take out the black tube and connect it to the flow restrictor outlet. And take out the post carbon. Place it back to its location and connect the tube to the DI filter outlet. Flushing step number 2, RO membrane flushing. While the main water supply is off. Disconnect the yellow tube from the inlet fitting of the DI filter. Place it over the sink or container to catch the water. Turn on the water supply and keep it running for at least 5 to 10 minutes. If you have a TDS meter, keep it running until it reaches a minimum of 90% TDS rejection. Turn off the water supply afterwards. Note, during the use of the system, the TDS rejection will eventually reach 97%. Put the yellow tube from the auto shutoff valve back into the inlet fitting of the DI filter. And with that, you are ready to use your new system. And your fish friends will definitely feel the difference.
visit our store and check out our supply of systems and filters. There's a system out there for everyone.